Here I am guys, NBA Live 19 creating my player, decided to make a big man. And I decided to go with the rim protector. I'm sorry, I went with the post anchor, my bad. There is a reason why. The main reason is that I looked at the stats. I look at the stats when you are at the end of the build. As you can see, I went on Joel MB, the process, I went all the way to the end. I looked at their different impacts, the different skills they get at the end. Um, this one he had mentality impact. I'm not too sure uh, what those do yet. I'm not familiar with the game. But with the dream, I did see support ability where your whole team gets a boost on defense. I really like that. I thought that was cool. So that's why I decided to go with that in the end. But I'm surprised with the mountain, the Matumbo style. I thought he would have a team sort of enhancement as well. But as you can see, I'm looking really quickly here and it's all individual. I may be wrong, who knows, it's still the beginning of the game, so for sure I'll be making other builds, but for now, from what I could see, um, I really didn't see a team-oriented uh, defensive boost, which I really liked when I saw it. Uh, that's why I went with the dream in the end. Matsumbo gets mentality impact and physical uh, boost, but that looks like individual as well, but I wanna impact the whole team, that's why I went with the dream. I went with 7-1. And I was debating between 275 and 250. As you can see, I'm going back and forth right now. But my speed was very, very low. So I didn't want to have 61 speed, but I don't want to be too uh, too weak either in terms of strength. So I've been playing playing back and forth, and in the end, I ended up going with 253, 250 uh, in that range. You know, it's just the first build, it's not going to be perfect, but I'm just going to try it out and see what happens. 64 speed, 92 strength, why not? 7 one 250. What's going on guys? For Complex News, I'm Speedy Mormon. The best of the best in high school hoops will be competing tomorrow at the Jordan K54 in Paris. Players will be looking to prove themselves at this global event and bring their game to the next level. This showcase game also includes two of the biggest NBA stars who will handpick their squads from among these top players. Obviously, this is an event you don't want to miss, and there could be a legend in the making within this group of elite high school bowlers. For Complex News, I'm Speedy Moore. So game one is in Quay 54 Invitational. I probably said that wrong, my bad. <laughs> and this is our squad, and this is their squad. This Jordan K54 special event is your chance to shine against the toughest players you've ever faced, including the top high school balls and even some NBA pros. Son, this is your moment. Show them you belong on that court. So honestly, the first game is very short, it's just two quarters of three minutes each. So there isn't much highlights to go over, but the ones that I did, I did get, I will be posting it here. You know, it's my first time playing with a big guy on NBA Live 19, so uh, I'm still getting used to the feel. Getting used to how the new gameplay is. Because I'm alive, I was on Live 18 a lot. But I really wasn't playing with bigs, I was mostly with guards, so it's kind of an adjustment to make. As Luka Doncic make that layup over my contest. I still got points for that, which is nice. Westbrook with the pull up mid. It's high game, second quarter. Still getting the feel for this game. <laughs> uh, if you guys are watching, let me know which position you guys made uh, and why. Tell me, I'm curious. I feel like a lot of people made the wing scorer and uh, the wing shooters because those are honestly, I already know those are going to be some beastly builds like on Live 18, those were like one of the best builds. You can shoot, you can dunk, you can do everything. But one of the reasons why I decided to make a center is that on the demo, they had Iverson, Vince Carter and Shaq. Shaq felt pretty nice, so that's why I decided to make a big 
uh, they feel like they got improved a little bit over Live 18. Because I remember on Live 18, bigs weren't that useful. Like, <laughs> a bit, uh, little guys could like out-rebound them and stuff like that. But in this game, when I was using Shaq, it felt like he was a bully. Which is a great feeling when you're a big. Because on Live 18, the bigs didn't really feel like bullies. They couldn't really jump that high. Um, they had glitchy blocks. But right now, I feel like you can really control a lot with the center. But like I said, it's just the beginning of the game, so all my opinions may be wrong. It's just like literally the first game I've ever played, so who knows. So we end up winning the game by 6. I think my score, my scorecard, I got 118. Not too bad for the first game. I'll be posting all my games soon, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe and also follow GFlash on Twitter.